Hi guys, it's Nikki back back with Laura's Legacy. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby. Girls gotta stay out of Hobby Lobby. All right, they had a bunch of stuff on clearance and I was really excited about it. I'm actually gonna combine a Hobby Lobby and a Dollar Tree haul for some of these things for the craft side of it. So, so here I go. Okay, 74 cents for these little donuts. Oh my God, I was, so, why didn't I pick up more? I don't know. I always do that to myself. Um, $1.24 for these. Lady Boss. How cute is that? I'm telling you, $1.24. Sticker happy, happy with $1.24. So this ribbon, so cute. I got one of these because it was 32 cents. It's like the varsity type letters um, and B, obviously Beck. I'll do something with, or basketball for Jet. These were gorgeous, you guys, $1.24. You can't really see them. Like they're not, pa they're, pa they're not paper. They're like some other kind of material. I don't know, but they're so pretty, $1.24. These were $1.24. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. My bobby pin in the way. All right, so those are some of the things that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I thought these were super cute. <laughs> these little girls. I kind of already know what I want to do with these. Um, these, these were all 74 cents, so too cute. Um, all right. I couldn't help but to grab these, not that I really think I need them, but more buttons. Again, $1.24. They must have been like going crazy with the $1.24 sticker. I was like, heck yeah. Because you know, if you saw any of these things at the Dollar Tree that you would be grabbing them, would you not? So for $1.25, I mean an extra quarter, yeah. All right, so my biggest surprise is yet to come. This was the one thing that was a little bit more expensive. This was $2.49, but it's a die cut and a folder, embossing folder. I can't figure out what this says. B, I think it's beautiful. And then hello laugh out loud I don't know what this says yet I can't I can't tell oh well okay so anyway wait until you see this next thing guys I freaked out when I saw this a dollar 24 this is worth like it was regular price 29.99 and even with the coupons off you guys, this is unreal, this planner. Okay, there's my nail in the way. Um, this is what makes my channel real, you guys. I, I'm all over the place. So this cover right here to me was alone worth $1.24 because I have an idea of what I want to do with this. But this is a 2020 planner. And of course, there's only a couple of few months left in 2020, but I'm going to take this and use it for something else. But let's kind of just go through this really quick. All right. So I think like I could actually, like if I wanted a month, I could, it, you can cut this all up and use it in backgrounds of things or in cards. It, it doesn't have to be the year. Do you know what I mean? This can just be kind of background stuff. Um, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to cut this all up and do something else with it. So this whole thing is going to get like completely destroyed. <laughs> so it does say 2020, 2021. So like this page, I didn't even realize that when I looked at it. So it's kind of just giving you the two, two years, but it's only a 2020 um, you can actually cut these out as well. And then these can be cut up too. 
if you wanted. Look at how stinking cute this is. Then you have these sheets that are the dividers for the months. OMG, you guys, these are so cute. Now, I think I'm going to take and yes, I could remove it and just like use it in a different planner or whatever, but I have another idea for this. So I think these little girls are so beautiful and I know they have other binders that are similar from the Happy Planner collection, but like obviously I'm a year behind. So, but that's cute. And again, these things, you can cut these up and use them in other ways. So I can put these in my scrapbooks, whatever. Like I don't have to use that page, but. But each page has like these on the back of it. So, all right, let's get into like, that's the back end of one of these pages. So, all right, then there's February. But look at how cute that little dog. So this can be used in so many ways. So here is March. Look at that. Make your own happy. She is to die for. Slay the day. I love it. So there's March. Look at her down there. How cute is this? For a dollar twenty-four, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Now, granted, I'm going to cut this all up, but what else do you? What else are you guys thinking? I mean, I could make cards and stuff out of it, but. I think I want to take and slip these into binders and try to create a sticker binder for myself. I don't know if that's going to be the best route to go. I, like so many of you, have about a gazillion stickers. I mean, hordes of them. I don't even know that the binder system is the right way to go, but I can still use those pictures. So unbelievably cute. Look at her. She is just everything so here oh, my fingernail keeps getting in the way girl you're going places how cute so this is um may and like i said i'm not big on planners guys i've tried them i just i don't keep up with it i just have too much going on that i don't have enough time to do one but Hey, if somebody did one for me, I'd use it in a heartbeat. I just don't have enough time to make my own or whatever. But Tropical Vibes for June. Oh my God. I am in love. If there's other things you can think of to do with these, I mean, by all means, comment down below. July is so cute. Girls just want to have sun. <laughs> that looks like my little Rue. I miss her. So, anyhow, let's just get through the next month. This is August. September I wasn't all that crazy about. It's okay, but... the You guys have seen, like, the 80s type trend stuff come back I hated it then I hate it now I just the whole it do you guys know what I mean by the 80s like patterns and stuff they, they were so ugly I grew up in the 80s so I wore all that ugly stuff so I can like freely express my opinion because I lived through that decade and say that it was horrible fashion wise but you did have to love a pair of parachute pants, right? Um, pumpkin spice everything. I think that is so cute. And they're, it's hard cardstock too, guys. It's not just like... Look at her. Boss, babe. Okay. 
and then December. You get it. This is what you do when you're trying to film with one hand. Okay. Look at her. The presents. Keep your heels, head, and standards high. Coco Chanel. Yeah, baby. All right. So that was this binder. And if you guys can think of other things, like I can't get rid of anything like that. I can't get rid of anything. You can put them in picture frames. You can do like a lot of things. I don't know. Speaking of picture frames, I found a couple of these at the Dollar Tree and I had to pick these up. These were so pretty in these colors. I loved them. So they're just little canvases. Love them. I think they're eight. What are they? Eight by eight? I don't know, but that's what they look like to me. All right. So I picked those up. My favorite thing. It was not on sale, but I had to have this frame, this wall art. Look at that baby. Chanel, Prada, Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Dior, and Tom Ford. Heck yeah. All right, so I have a little story to share with you guys, and then I'm off. So when Jet was about four, we would walk through Macy's or Nordstrom or whatever, and he was about four years old, and I would say to him, Jet, can you say Prada? And he would say Prada, and I would say, Jet, can you say Chanel? And he would say it, and then I said, can you say Michael Kors? And he would say it. And I'm like, Jet, these are names you need to get used to because maybe one day you'll have a wife or a girlfriend and you can actually sound like you know something about some designers. He has no interest whatsoever, guys. It's like zero interest in anything girly. He is a boy's boy's boy that, I mean, he knows like the company that I worked for. Um, and he knows makeup, but other than that, like nothing, he just nothing. He looks at everything that's pink and girly and whatever. The other funny thing he did, another quick story, this was hilarious. So when he was in fifth grade, it wasn't until sixth grade that the kids got lockers. In fifth grade, Jet dropped off all his books. This is pre-COVID. Dropped off all of his books in his classroom, and he was walking out of the classroom, meet the teacher kind of thing, and we're walking down the hallway, and there's a little girl that's in sixth grade, and she is decorating her locker so cute, just like I would if I had a little girl or whatever, and he took a look that she was hanging this little chandelier in her locker, and he kind of looked at her as he was walking, and he kind of kept going while he was walking, but he turned and looked at her and said, hi, maintenance, and kept walking. I almost died. I'm like, get. I'm like, you don't say that. I'm thinking to myself, oh, he knows because his mom is just like that. And he just gets in these zingers, guys, and it cracks me up. So he'll be nice and come in my room and say, oh, it looks really nice. Um, but he like, his bedroom is just, so like minimal boy yeah they really don't care kind of thing and I'm such a girly girl too funny but anyway those are my two funny jet stories um, I'm just going to throw in a couple really super fast right now things that are stickers from the Dollar Tree that I found probably have been around forever but I just hadn't seen them some planner stickers these magical dudes <laughs> dudes I know this has been around forever I might have it but I just got it anyway I finally found this one and this one here's some Halloween stickers I think everybody has seen these before the donut little googly eye guys and then this I just thought was too cute french fries and you know the googly eyes probably pop off so I could probably, I don't know, the Jet would be so keen on me putting this like in a scrapbook for him. But again, he would just roll his eyes at me because I am girly girl. How cute is this thing? Huh? Okay, guys, 
I'm off. I'm out. Be well. Be safe. Huge hugs from Indy. Stay tuned. More videos to come. My next one's a beauty haul. All right. Bye, guys.